it's dark out, but um, I don't know if you guys can see this. This is the cutest hotel ever. This is actually a Quality Inn. Yeah, yeah Quality Tudor Inn. Style. And it's like, it is really it's like cute. Tudor style. Yeah. This is really pub, cool. The pub is part of it as well, called huh. Waddling Dog. Cool. Okay, guys, let's go in. Look at this door, you guys. Like, how cute is that? Can you see that? It's actually a dog. That is so cute. This is cool. So see, so this is the library where they have the breakfast here. Oh, wow, look at this, you guys. This is like so... So this is where they, they have the breakfast. Look at all the old books. Wow. This is like, it's like really cool. Hotel, right? You can sit here and read. Look at all the plates up here. All these different plates all up on here. Wow, this is so cool. Huh. I like it. Okay, let's see. What else? Do you know where we're supposed to be? Yeah. yeah. Just head down here. This is uh, the pub right here, right? Oh, okay. Huh. Yeah, we just go to the elevator. It's oh. on the clock. It's a grandfather clock, and I'm the grandfather. <laughs> I'm the grandfather. This is my clock. <laughs> this clock. Cool. Look at that. Very cool. This elevator is really cool, guys. As soon as it opens. Look at this. Like, does this not scream horror movie? <laughs> Red room. Red room. There's the menu. Like, look at this. Like, wow. Look at pork bites. Calamari. Look at calamari. Oh. You're gonna push the button. Or? Calamari with jalapenos, lemon, and tzatziki. Louisiana Provence hot sauce. Little pops menu. That's Chicken cute. strips and fries. You gonna push the button, or trip. are we just gonna sit in here? And look at the menu. <laughs> Pork tin. But look at this. It's toast. like it's Just like fire. really cool. <laughs> Doors. This reminds me of like a horror movie or something. And like an old style. Here's our castle. Look at this door. This is like so cool. And George can't figure out the key. It has to go green. Try turning it around, maybe? It's oh. got the arrow there. <laughs> uh, okay, we can't figure it out. Haha, <laughs> uh, uh -huh, girls rule dog, dogs to rule. Right? Yes, I figured it out. Look at it, it's all like wood. Like old style. Huge, huge tub. Where's the light switches? <laughs> oh, there it is. <laughs> right. So this is oh. only one hundred and twenty-nine dollars a night too. Oh wow. Hmm. I love this like old style wood. Like yeah, this is really it's, cool. It's a Tudor. It's Tudor style, right? 
This is really neat. There's our fridge. <laughs> I like it. I don't know if this bed is going to be big enough for the both of us, but <laughs> I guess we'll find out. What do you think? I like it. That's nice. It's Beautiful like, view of McDonald's. <laughs> Are you serious? Oh my god. Look, we got the golden arches out here. <laughs> wow. Well, this is really neat. I am quite... I am... Whoops. Let's try that again. I am quite happy with this. Of course, I was able to figure out the door. George couldn't. <laughs> So, yeah, this is really neat. I really like this. I mean, look at the ceiling, guys. It's like wood planks. This <laughs> is quite a Tudor-style home. Have you ever been in a Tudor-style home? No. This is classic English Tudor style. There's a lot of buildings in Victoria, the old buildings that are like this. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> this is like William Shakespeare oh. era of England sort of style, right? Yeah. Oh, whoops. Dropping stuff. Well, this is really, oop, this is really nice. I like this. McDonald's. <laughs>down to the pub and we played some pool and we ate again and I wish we hadn't because now I just feel like I'm 500 pounds oh my stomach is so sore it was uh yeah too much food too soon but you know I'm gonna be fasting right so there's that so anyway I wanted to show you what I got, oops, sorry, what I got at Walmart on the way in. Um, oh my god. Um, I went to try and find that who, the Huga yarn. They only had, can believe it or not, one, one ball of Huga. And this is gray. I think. Uh, I don't know what the colorway is. What's the colorway? Sterling. Sterling. Yeah, that fits. So, it's really pretty though. So soft. So nice. And then I found this. It's Bernat Premium. And the color is... Where's the color? Black Sparkle. Oh, that looks really yellow in this light. Let's see if I can... Does that help any? No. It's black with... Um, gold sparkle. So, I got two of these because of the hat pattern that I just did. Uh, I figured that these would actually look really good as that Santa hat. I know it's black, but you know, it's got gold sparkle in it. Give me a break. <laughs> I think it's pretty. So anyways, um, now I have to go and I have to go and have my shower with my antibacterial soap. And then I'm going to sit down and crochet and stupid me, I had a glass and a half of iced tea. What the hell was I thinking? Well, I couldn't have any beer. I couldn't have any alcohol. So I went and had 
iced tea and now I've I've got caffeine in my system dummy now I'm really not gonna be able to sleep so anyway um, yeah so I guess I will see you guys in the morning okay toodles <sighs> good morning yarn -a bees good morning it's the day yes last night was <laughs> this bed frame is terrible. Every time you move, the thing hits the wall. It's like we weren't doing anything. We weren't. <laughs> yeah, like I'm going to do that before surgery. <sighs> okay, so this is R rated. <laughs> um, yeah, so I did my last shower, my last bath. Um, and I had to use my antibacterial soap. My skin feels really... Ooh. But your hair looks fabulous. <laughs> I forgot to bring a brush. I forgot to bring anything to put my hair up with. And then I had to wash it with the hotel shampoo. So my hair feels really icky. But that's okay. Um, I got more well wishes. And... Uh, thinking of you so I'm getting private messages and uh, it just means so much to me to know that you guys are out there because well yeah I'm scared so <clears throat> I'm not gonna cry <laughs> <laughs> anyways how do you feel about well, Mr. Toothpaste face oh well, yeah well. <laughs> Well, I mean, it's it's good that we're getting on with this. I wanted to get, I hap, I'll be happy when it's done. And if I'm worried about how I'm going to get you into the van, up, up that step and onto the seat and situated and everything, and get you home and up our stairs and. Just to explain this a little bit, what we did was um, we took out the middle seat in the van and then we left the back seat. And with the back seat, I put blankets and pillows and everything because I'm plan probably going to be laying down. So trying to get me from the sliding door to the back of the van. <laughs> well, just getting from the ground up the step to the sliding door, you're not going to be able to step up. So I'm going to have to kind of half lift, half well, hop, hop you up there. I don't really know how else we're going to do it. Well, I mean, I could always sit down on the floor and just scooch my bum over. No, I'll just pick you up. No. <laughs> That'll, probably hurt. That'll probably hurt you more than me. No. <clears throat> Get you up and in, and then getting out, and uh, no matter what we do, we've got to go up our three or four stairs, get into our front door. There's no way around oh. that. So we've got to get you yeah. up the steps and uh, yeah. plant you probably into your chair. Yeah. Oh, that reminds me. We've got to get a a bracelet thingy for my crutches that says my name on it. Um, okay. Yeah, so they don't lose my crutches. So, okay. anyway. I thought I was going to be bringing them in with me when I come to get you. I have no idea. Okay. They just said to make sure that they're labeled. Okay. I guess we got to buy a magic marker or something today. No, no. The You know the bracelets they give you in the hospital with oh, your name on it? Oh, okay. I'll see if they can give me one of those. Okay. Anyway, um, yeah, so, so uh, one of you had mentioned on the comments that I should be taking before and after pictures of my foot. So I thought that was kind of a cool idea because I've never showed you guys my foot. <laughs> I don't know if it's something you guys want to see, but you know, considering what's going on, it might be an interesting thing to talk about, right? So. Here we, here we go. There's some here guys that will actually pay for you to send pictures of you. <laughs> Not these ugly things. Okay, so there's my foot. And right here is my bunion. They're going to be taking that off. They're go Oops, we're unfocused. So they're going to be taking that off. And then they're going to be taking bone out of this toe. Hang on. They're going to be taking bone out of this toe to shorten it because you see that toe is longer than the others. So they're going to shorten that toe and then they're going to take bone out of this toe 
just so that they can straighten it out. So, yeah. So that is my foot. <laughs> I can't believe I'm putting my foot on YouTube because I hate my feet. So, but you see how my toes are all kind of curving, like these two especially are starting to curve too. I didn't notice that actually, that toe is starting to curve in too. But anyways, so yeah, they're, uh, uh, woo. so that's what they're planning on doing. So that's going to be interesting. So I'm assuming I'm going to have an inc incision on the side of my toe where the bunion is and then on top of my toe. I really hope they're not going to go from underneath because that's going to hurt like a bitch. You know, so <clears throat> anyway, yeah, my foot's not going to look the same, which might be a good thing. Might not. I don't know. It's going to look weird. I know that. <laughs> I got a message from, um, what was it? Laura? Laura Mad Mimi? Mm -hmm. Was it, I can't remember. It was Laura Mad, Mad Mimi's design. I think so. She was saying, um, you know, don't you or, or was it Billy? No, it was I think it was me mad Mimi. I think she was saying, you know, my foot's gonna look really fat and it's not gonna look the same and <laughs> Oh Sandy from left is right. Oh yeah, it was Sandy left is right. How did yeah. I forget that? Yeah, so anyway she was saying, you know, it's my foot's gonna be looking pretty funny. <laughs> Don't bump it on the furniture. Yeah, don't bump it on the furniture for God's sakes. Yeah, well, um, that's George. George. George bumps his feet on everything. He doesn't watch where he's walking, so he's, uh, yeah. <laughs> so anyways, I, um, I was getting lots of messages from everybody, which is wonderful. I'm still getting messages. My phone just dinged. <clears throat> My kids have both sent me messages. Telling me that they love me. That's always nice to hear. So anyways, okay, so we're going to go and we're going to, I have to go and find something, a drugstore or something to put up this mess. Probably that <clears throat> store in the gas station right there will have a scrunchie. I doubt. The gas station doesn't have scrunchies. It's a smart stuff. There's a Tim Hortons in there. I can't go in there because I haven't eaten since yesterday. Well, although I did eat a shit ton yesterday. Yes, you ate enough for a week. Yeah, yesterday. and then I threw up some so <laughs> it's like Ugh! I couldn't eat anymore um <clears throat> but yeah so anyways I gotta go and fix this mop of hair I'm not used to having long hair it's getting really long and I just don't know what to do with it <clears throat> so and then we're gonna go to the hospital yeah okay so we'll talk to you guys in a while Look. Yeah, you gotta get this is at the now. day surgery. <laughs> Sandy, we have a we met a friend. <laughs> Sandy from left is right. We met a friend. So, I guess you are really with me. <laughs> Hi, Yarnaby. Good morning, everyone. Well, the morning it's done. after. The yeah. morning after. I'm actually feeling a lot better than I thought I was going to feel. Yesterday was rough. Here, let me move over a bit. So there. <clears throat> See, there's Bella's here too. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. I won't, I'm not gonna lie. Yesterday was really rough. Um, I I actually thought that George was going to be able to stay in the um, recovery with me, but they don't do that on day surgery, I guess. So he had to be out there waiting and not knowing what's going on and stuff. So um, Six hours. Yeah, six hours. Oh, God. Sandy was the first one in and the last one out. 
because I'm special like that. <laughs> um, yeah, it was uh, it was really rough. They ended up, I don't know why, but they ended up giving me a medication that I was allergic to. It was on my chart. They asked me four times what the medications were, um, and they ended up giving it to me anyway. So I'm allergic to Dilaudid. And when I got up, when I woke up and they wheeled me into the recovery, I said, you know, I'm feeling really sick. I think I'm going to throw up. And uh, she, they, she said, oh, that might be the Dilaudid. And I said, Dilaudid? And I said, did you guys not read my chart? <laughs> you know, like, seriously? What did so, they say when you said that? Well, she, I don't know what, she didn't really say much, you know. She said they gave it to me, um, like, right after the surgery. So, <clears throat> I don't know what happened, but it was not fun. Um, I was throwing up, and uh, I was really dizzy, lethargic, of course, because I was, you know, just coming out of... It took me a long time to come out of the anesthetic, and I don't know why, because that's not usually like me. Um, so, yeah, I was... It was a heavy, heavy duty. Whatever they gave me, it was heavy duty. <clears throat> so I don't know how long I was in I was in and out all the time so I don't know how long I was actually in recovery well they wheeled you in at a quarter after 10 and you didn't get out until 4 o'clock after 4 so oh, wow. we were hoping I was hoping that we would be when I first went in there they said she'd be about 3 hours or so so I was thinking oh awesome so one, two o'clock, she'll be out, we can get on the highway, and I could have her home by maybe, you know, four in the afternoon, because Victoria is notorious. They have this thing they call the Colwood Crawl, which is just a massive uh, traffic jam that happens every day. It usually starts around four o'clock. Mm -hmm. So if you're leaving Victoria anytime between four and six, you're stuck in this horrible bumper-to-bumper -bumper bottleneck <clears throat> that they have there, and of course we got stuck in it. So it took us an hour just to get out of Victoria and then two hours to actually drive home because I was driving like a little old lady. Ha, um, you were? Yeah. I oh was my God. Everybody was passing me, giving me the look because I was doing maybe about 80 kilometers an hour down the highway. I sure tried, didn't feel like it. Yeah, it may not have felt like it. We had somebody actually um, in the bumper to bumper. We were um, getting ready to go and she actually cut right in front of me with no notice and I had to slam the brakes on unfortunately and Sandy almost fell off the back seat. I did. I flew so and I, I um, ended up right at the back yeah, of your seat. And we got stuck at the light so I did a bit of a road rage thing. I got out of the van and went and punched the window and there was a woman looking at me so what do you do? And she's Instead got of this, coming to help me get back up on the dumbfounded seat, look, look on her face and I'm you know <laughs> I'm yelling at her and of course she gives you a so anyway um but sandy got got back up there and uh and then we got going again and then we just got to, into uh into ladysmith and we had to stop because she needed to throw up so we oh, uh, pulled bad. over so she could throw up and and uh yeah anyway it was the longest ride home ever yeah. You know, we do that drive a lot because that's where we dragon boat and we go there two times a week during the season. But it just seemed exceptionally long last night. And, of course, it was absolutely pitch black out. And it's a very dark highway on the island. It doesn't have a lot of lights in a lot of places, too, which is uh, mm -hmm. I don't really like. So, And then we got her home. And then the worst part was trying to get her up. We have about six or seven stairs to get into our front door. And there's... No way to avoid them. It's the only way you can get in the house. So yeah. I had to get her up the stairs, and uh, that was not easy. So yeah, I we discovered that uh, when you're Sandy weak. and crutches don't get along. But we do want to announce, and you guys will love this, that the Nenaimo Tominator is a gift from God. Sandy is able to get, <laughs> already able to get up and get around on the Tominator, and. Uh, Get to and from the bathroom. She did it all by herself today. She got her coffee all by herself. <laughs> and uh, she's able to get to and from her chair and to and from the bathroom. And even get into the kitchen and sit on the stool. And, you know, she'll probably be able to get herself something to eat. And uh, 
you know, God willing, maybe even help me with dinner, which would be really yeah. nice. And I do want to make another announcement for those of you that are worried about me. We managed to find a place that will cook our turkey dinner for Christmas. So, Yay. Um, it's, uh, they're gonna, unfortunately, it's for like six to eight people, but that's okay because there's nothing as good as leftovers at Christmas. So yeah. uh, well, they, they take the orders and basically you go there on the 24th and you pick it all up. <laughs> And it's already pre-made for you. All you have to do is heat it up the next day. So we'll take it home and get it into the fridges that we have. And the next day, we'll just heat it up. And if it works out well, if, if it's a really nice dinner and it works out well, this may become an annual thing because Sandy really does not enjoy uh, getting the turkey on at Christmas. So as a, it's all a, the prep as another gift for her and something to help her with all of that, it does not bother me to to spend the money to get that done because it's a lot less work for her so sorry if the camera's moving guys i've, I've got the shape it's a handheld and uh anyway yeah I've got sandy the looks a million times better today than she did yesterday she did not look good yesterday yeah i looked so. like death I'm sure i felt like death and she smelled was, wonderful too yeah George <laughs> says that my breath is really really bad right now i have to go brush my teeth Wow. So it's um, with all the medications and me throwing up and the whole, you know, anesthetic stuff. I guess it's not doing very well with my, my body. But my throat feels like a freaking truck went through it. I had, I didn't find out until they wheeled me down into the OR uh, that they, the anesthesiast had a student working with them. And she came and, and, and it was, this was so funny. She came and she said hello to me and she did all the, you know, checking off all the boxes and everything. And um, and then another doctor came and she introduced herself to me and I was like, that's not my doctor. And she, she walked away and the girl says, oh no, she's your anesthesiast. I was like, that's not who I talked to before. She goes, oh, you talked to a guy. And I said, yeah. She goes, no, you got the girl gang. I was like, what? She says, yeah, everybody in that room was a girl, except for um, my doctor had an assistant that was a guy. Which is why the surgery started late, because it was all women. Hey. <laughs> so I was taking with, take girl power. I, it was all girl power in there. And it was, it was really... How'd that work out for you? They gave you the wrong medication. Well, yay, yay, girl power. Yeah, well, I don't know what happened How about happened competent there. power? Yeah, I don't know what happened there. But anyways, um, so that was, that was good. But the best part of the whole thing was walking into the um, day surgery and seeing a crocheted octopus. Octavia's sister. Octavia's sister. So that almost made me cry. And apparently it is making you cry. It was a positive omen and it was uh, just very funny that it was just sitting right there as the first thing we saw when we went in there. So Sandy's a big believer in omens and symbols and all that stuff, almost to the point that it <coughs> drives me a little crazy sometimes. But. Uh, Anyway, it actually kind of cheered us both up seeing that. It's like we knew you guys were there. And, of course, everybody's been hammering us with, you know, um, you know prayers and good thoughts. And uh, now everybody's, you know, how, how does she do and give us an update. And I'm not very good on the whole computer thing. I did do a couple of uh, posts on the Crochet A Facebook site. So if you want to check them out, one was just that I was still waiting and the other was that... Mm -hmm. Fun I had getting her home and everything, but uh, trying to keep you guys updated. So this is, you'll get the video today, you'll have the whole yeah. journey. Sandy filmed a lot of stuff, everything yeah. from the, the neat hotel that we stayed in to. Yeah. Um, we actually played pool the night before, just to kind of relax a little bit and yeah. keep our minds off stuff. And Yeah. Anyway. Well, um, it was, it was really nice. I was getting private messages and emails from people, and one was Sandy from Left is Right Crochet. And so, yeah. It must be the medication. <laughs> oh, sure. Yeah, that's what it is. So, 
yeah, it's so like George said, I was getting messages, like spiritual messages all day yesterday. Um, as soon as we were driving out of our driveway, uh, I saw right across the street, I had no idea they were even there, was a bushel of pussy willows. And pussy willows was one of my dad's favorite plants. So, and it was just like in my face right and I was like oh my god like I don't normally get messages from my dad my sister gets messages from my mom all the time and I really thought I would get more messages from my dad but I don't unless I've blocked him out but um, that was like a blatant in your face and then what else was it when <clears throat> oh uh, when we were in the pub um, I was looking around at people and just like I like to people watch and I just happened to look at the bar and there was a bottle of Johnny Walker red there just in my face and well number one my dad's name was John and number two Johnny Walker red was his favorite drink um, so that blew me away and then there was a couple of other things I saw and I can't for the life of me remember what it is now but um, and then seeing Octavia's sister just hit me hard. So I definitely know that you guys were with me. And. But we wish you were with us on the way home. That would have been nice. <laughs> yeah. Someone to help prop Sandy up in the back seat there. <laughs> It's hard to drive. It's it's absolutely pitch black. I can't see her back there. And I kept, you know, asking, are you okay? Are you okay? And she was making a point of not saying anything. This to scare the shit out of me for some reason. He, and, he's uh, got a very heavy foot on the brake. So I had to, like, hold on to the back. Headrest. It's only to because keep we were on the like seat. absolute. We don't normally get into the bumper, the bumper commuter city traffic thing. We don't allow that in Nanaimo. It's against the bylaw. If we have to <laughs> wait to go through a light more than once, we get pissed off. I'm feeling a lot better that I've got her home. She's looking a lot better today. Um, she's proving that she's able to get up, get up on by herself and get to and from the bathroom and and take care of herself so that's good i'm going to be off until monday anyway um i'm trying really hard to be self-sufficient and independent <clears throat> right away because i know this is stressing george out a lot so i want to try and take the burden off of him and believe me if i was not feeling well enough to do it i wouldn't but um I I seem to be doing okay, and they've got me on oxycodone. Oxycodone? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. oxycodone. So, <clears throat> so last night, uh, about three o'clock in the morning, I think everything started wearing off because I was getting sharp pains down the bottom of my foot, and I thought, oh, I better take a pill, and I don't want to take it without food, so. Here's Sandy rolling into the kitchen at 3 o'clock in the morning. And uh, George got a, my salad out for me that I was supposed to eat last night but was too sick. And I was falling asleep badly. Um, and I, In the chair. Yeah. And so I ate that most of that and took my pill. And within a half an hour, I was feeling so much better. Just having food in my system too helped. And so uh, I was able to, and also because I couldn't take my stomach pills yesterday, I had bad acid reflux and that probably didn't help matters um, when it came to the car ride home. Number one, I get car sick. And uh, so... That's why we drive a van. Yeah. <laughs> she doesn't get van sick. Yeah, right. <laughs> but I was, um, I was getting acid and everything. It was just horrible. But I threw up really good in the bedroom, and all as soon as I yeah, did really that, good. as soon as I did that, I was good, right? I just needed to get all that out of my system. So, I was able to actually lay on my side, and uh, and take the pillow out from under my head, so I was a little more flat, 
And once I did that, I was good. I could sleep. So that really helped. So now I'm, I'm on oxycodone. Oh, and another thing. They told me when I did a doctor's appointment with the hem hematologist or whatever. Yeah. Um, blood thinner guy, yeah. Yeah, they told me because I had my blood clot in my past, I was really concerned that if I had the surgery that I might need to get on blood thinners. And he told me, nope, you're fine. Um, we'll give you some aspirin before you go in, which they did. And, uh, and then you're going to be fine. When I came out of surgery, we found out that there was a, a prescription for, um, was it heparin or something? I don't know which blood thinner it is, but they gave me that. Now George has to give me a needle every day for the next 30 days. I was like, wait a minute. Like, cause he, he told me, he says, if I'm up and around right away, we're good. If I'm not up and around within three days of the surgery, then I have to go on it. So I'm a little surprised that they actually put me on this blood thinner, but I mean, I'm good with it. And it's $350 yeah. for this prescription. So we're a little surprised because Sandy normally yeah. doesn't have to pay a lot for her prescriptions. So uh, we have a weird system in Canada. We give free stuff to drug addicts so they don't kill themselves, but we make regular people pay for stuff mm -hmm. like this so they don't get a blood clot after surgery. It's, oh, uh, don't even get us started. Pretty, uh, pretty pissed off to find that yeah. out. So, yeah. uh, so what the pharmacist did is he gave us, apparently our doctor is able to, if he wants to, to fill out a form giving us an exemption from paying this outrageous amount for this stuff. So he gave us a one week supply. We have to get a hold of our family doctor today and see if he's willing to uh, send this thing off to BC Medical so that when we renew, we won't be charged this stuff. So yeah, yeah, it's a little nerve wracking having to give her a shot um, every morning, but uh, <laughs> well, you know, you don't want to hurt the one you love, right? Yeah, Sometimes right. when you're mad at them, but not Unless you, you, not you know, slam on your brakes and throw me across the van. Well, it was either that or hit, I, or hit her right yeah. we would have been in an accident and uh even though it would have been her fault and all of that god that's the last thing we wanted on the way home was yeah. that so <laughs> i just people right yeah and the funny thing is is it was not super important for her to merge at that particular second but she knew that about two miles up she would eventually have to be in that lane but she chose that exact moment uh, to just cut across with not even a signal or anything and I had to slam on my brakes to not hit her so yeah, yeah not cool but anyway. anyway okay guys we just wanted to let you know that I'm okay oh do you want to see my foot <laughs> here's my foot so here's my foot <laughs> that is a big god awful thing I can't really see my toes <laughs> but yeah so and I'm wearing my, my llama pants for the first time. They're, they're big enough so that I can get my cast in them. So that's good. So and then I got my Christmas tree on and I got my other stuff on. And George has got football on to make us feel better. <laughs> so ah, so that's that. Oops. Whoa, whoa. There we go. So anyways, I just wanted to let you guys know that I'm doing good so far and uh, yeah, getting myself some food and whatnot. It's going to be fun. Excuse me. Thank God I got George here for today anyway. He said he was going to make me some bacon and eggs. <laughs> so, okay. So thank you guys all for sending me all the messages. I felt it. I really did. I had this sense of calm going in and uh, and I know that, um, who was I talking to last night? Oh, um, was it? oh, I was talking to Veronica from Vero's Crochet and Gifts. Um, she was in a live yesterday and talking about me and everybody from the live was giving me well wishes as well. So... Uh, it made me feel really good. <laughs> so I was pretty confident when I went in there. 
although they did have to still give me a um, a vacate in to calm me down a little bit but um, overall I felt really good so okay guys so we love you very much and we thank you and I will keep you updated uh, I might be doing a post every day I don't know we'll see because what else is she gonna do <laughs> yeah exactly okay so we'll talk to you guys later bye bye, bye.